Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, I'll be sharing different methods of sealing wood and vinyl signs, plus projects I have personally made, so you can get a really good idea how each look. I already have a tutorial on how I prep and stain the wood blanks that I will link down below, along with my favorite materials for DIY wood signs. So I'm going to be starting with a little experiment to help determine if we even need to seal our wood signs and possibly skip the sealing process altogether. The whole point of adding sealer to your signs is for protection, so I want to do a little test to see how well the wood and vinyl alone would hold up. One might think that the stain would run down or onto the white vinyl, but since the stain is completely dry and cured, it stays in place and even repels the water off the stain, and that water that is dripping off is totally clear. A lot of people like the totally matte look versus the sheen that a sealer will give, and this is the quickest and most affordable way to create your own wood signs. I've made hundreds of signs skipping the sealing process, and they look awesome and hold up very well. So if you're making signs for indoor use or rentals like myself, or like a wedding where you could potentially have your signs outdoor, but for a short period of time, then this is the fastest and most affordable way to create, strip, and even reuse for another event in the future if needed. Now the next option is staining the wood, sealing it with polyacrylic, then adding your vinyl. This is my personal favorite for pieces that will be kept for years to come because it does add a layer of protection to the wood and the vinyl still lays beautifully. My favorite polyacrylic has a satin finish, but they do come in different sheens from super flat to high gloss. This satin falls right in the middle of the scale and has the perfect balance of protection and sheen. I've also tried them out before and it tends to lift and peel, so I stick with the satin whenever I need to seal a sign. Another option is staining the wood, adding your vinyl, then sealing it with polyacrylic. This method works well for painted signs, just adding the polyacrylic as the top layer to seal everything together. Vinyl is a little different though than the painted wood signs because the liquids can lift up the vinyl over time. So this is just not a method that I use very often, but sometimes the client requests a top coat on top of the vinyl. You do have to be careful to let your stain completely dry so it doesn't transfer over onto your vinyl with this method. They also make polyacrylic in an aerosol spray can, but I personally like the look of the brush strokes versus the spray. Another method is using Mod Podge in place of the polyacrylic, but I haven't tried this in years because it is rather thick and can dry cloudy. Same with polyurethane and varnish, which are some other alternatives you could look into. They do work really well for outdoor protection but they tend to yellow over time, which is just something that is not going to work for my signs and the white lettering. 
I think that polycrylic is a much better option for wood and vinyl signs. While well, I hope that this video helped in creating your own DIY signs, let me know any questions or comments that you have and I will see you soon.